Peter Block here at TCT 2015, and with me is Stefan Desch from Germany. Stefan has been working on late aspiration in SD elevation myocardial infarction. So, Stefan, tell me about your study. How did you put the study together, and exactly what was it to begin with? It's a randomized study of 152 patients, uh, STEMI patients. Uh, we did a trial of manual thrombus aspiration versus conventional PCI in subacute STEMI. That is between 12 and 48 hours after symptom onset. So all of the previous trials before have been done in the early setting within 12 hours. So this is the new and only study uh, that uh, thereafter. Okay, so you did it late. Did you randomize to yes? Uh, aspiration, no aspiration, or how did you figure it out? Yeah, yes and no. Okay, so the control did not have anything further. Most of the early aspiration trials we're learning, even from this meeting, have been sort of a disappointment. They have not shown an awful lot of difference, if any, and now we have a late aspiration, so I guess the next question is, what'd you find? Well, I have to disappoint the audience as well, yeah. we The primary endpoint was microvascular obstruction on cardiac MRI and we didn't find any significant difference uh, in this primary endpoint between groups. You didn't uh, measure infarct size or anything like that? Oh, we did, but just the secondary endpoints. There were no differences in uh, MRI infarct size, uh, um, enzymatic infarct size, other MRI markers such as left ventricular injection fraction volumes, uh, myocardial salvage, Angiogra angiographic markers of reperfusion success, such like the Timmy flow post PCI or the blush grade, no differences at all. Wow, that's a lot of endpoints. Okay, so let's have a little conversation about this because one of the important questions uh, that everybody is trying to figure out is should I just throw away this whole business of aspiration and not even consider it? What are your thoughts on that? Well, you shouldn't, you should keep it in the shelf because. Uh, all of the trials we are talking about, including uh, ours, are routine upfront manual thrombus aspiration. And it is still a viable option in, in the selected patient, occasional patients, uh, as a bailout uh, therapy. So uh, I would suggest you keep it in the shelf, but uh, try to limit it to uh, selected cases. So uh, a selected case, let me give you an example of one that I think might be reasonable. You try to open it either early or late. You are faced with a lot of thrombus burden, put a balloon in, nothing happens, the vessel looks look terrible and full of garbage, would you at that point say this is probably worthwhile even though the endpoints may not change? This is a tough question. I personally would probably do it, but you have to be aware that uh, since the total trial is out, we also have a signal of increased stroke rate in these patients. So this is really uh, a balance, uh, a clinical decision. Yeah. Okay, so we haven't thrown uh, thrombus aspiration away, have we, Stefan? But on balance, it's not probably going to be something we turn to immediately yeah. uh, for every ST elevation myocardial infarction, but every once in a while it might, with good judgment, make sense. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah.